Primus makes it easy to draft a bill of quantities. Let's create a new project document. As you can see, the sheet that the program displays on screen corresponds exactly to a bill of quantities that you'd normally see printed on paper. So there's nothing new to learn. A very simple working procedure. You can create new items directly within the bill of quantities by just pressing the insert key on the keyboard. You first enter a price code a description of works the unit of measurement and the corresponding unit price the item is inserted directly into the bill of quantities where a dialog appears for selecting the date the type of work and any related work categories which can also be added in this very same view. So let's go ahead and add the structure category and the substructure subcategory. Once completed this stage, you can then confirm and access the measurements editor where you can indicate a measurements description and then enter the corresponding data. Maybe we need to confirm some values in the following rows and change others. Let's also add some measurements for the south side and notice how in various dimension fields we can also insert entire formulas. The results of these formulas are calculated in place and where the result is shown automatically. The toolbar related to the various input fields adds further functions allowing the user to insert a row subtotal or even indicate negative values which are then subtracted from the total. All of the various functionalities are easy accessible and where you need them. To close the editor, simply press the F2 function key on the keyboard. As you can see, the item created in the measurements editor is also inserted in the documents price list editor. But items can also be imported from other documents or from a reference price list. On screen we have what we would normally have on our office desk. The price list on one side and the estimate document on the other. So let's select an item and simply drag and drop it from our price list into our active bill of quantities document. Again, let's then insert some measurements. The inserted data in our Primus document becomes individual objects that can therefore be edited in any other view. We can in fact edit price list items from within the measurements editor without having to switch to the price list editor. For example, we may want to edit the rate code, the description, the unit of measurement or the unit rate. 
by confirming everything is then updated. To use an item which is already contained in the price list, we can use the active price list view. A very simple way of working where we have everything where we need it. In fact, we can open this view where we can see the currently used items that are already added to our price list. And at this point, we can simply grab the specific item and drag it over to the bill of quantities. And again, enter the measurements for this item. Let's quickly enter the general data by accessing the general data tab. In the various fields, we can add the necessary information regarding our document or our project and then return to the measurement editor. By launching a print preview, you'll notice that what you have organized on screen is what you'll be obtaining on paper. Now you can simply move on to printing your document.